Welcome back. We are continuing the restoration of our 8-bit ASR33 teletype. In the previous episode, we fixed the last remaining carriage return bugs and we got error-free reliable receive operation. It's now time to pay attention to the paper tape section of the machine, which includes the punch and the reader. That, that didn't work so well. It's getting stuck in the punch. Okay, so it's sticking on the left punch. I can't tell which punch is sticking. It's the problem is that this, they have filed the screw so you cannot they, take this. I, I think this, this, this was assembled, then drilled or something like that. Yeah, so you can't adjust it as in the circuit in the model 15. Ah, no, it's stuck. Over here. So that's bit one. And that's bit uh, eight. Yeah. All right. Um, one is smaller, so right? one is working. Mm -hmm. uh, if you try two. But if I do rub out all at the same time, no, it's stuck. And I can see it didn't perforate completely. So I'm thinking not pushing the bars high enough to so some other adjustment. And it's the regular hieroglyphics it says set up an all marking code combination in the selector manually rotate the main shaft until the stripper bale is in its most forward position and so let's set up a one combination I have to go right here when that's this is an important skill at several places in the manual they ask you to set up a specific character manually to do that, you have to disconnect the machine from the power entirely to free the selector magnet first. Then rotate the machine manually until you hear the click. Then lift the sensing copper levers corresponding to the bits that you need to set. There are eight of them, one per bit, bit one being the closest to the side of the machine. And now I have made a combination of all ones, so I'll manually advance it. Here are all the ones. And I have to advance it until the stripper bale, which is the thing that moves here, is at its most forward position. So right now it's rearward. Forward. Right about there. And now all my punches at are the, the highest position and I have to adjust them and I see they are actually too low that's that's probably why I was having a problem so I need to measure the distance between this and the plate on the top and this is a 0 0.25 a 25 mils gauge and this is just I'm, I'm way out of adjustment it's way too loose so I need to move the punches up supposedly if I do this Need to leave it tight, but what 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 do I move then? That would seem like it's the right one, but I don't see any possible adjustment here. So I found it. There is a, a screw at the other end of this, completely buried. That's very hard to get, uh, but I was able to get it with one of these flat things eventually. And then I move this slightly up, and now I am at. 0.25. And now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. And let's do the rub out. It's all holes. Doing good. It has a little irregularity here, so it's something else that's not perfect. Uh -huh. Dang, no cigar, it's still catching, so something else is misadjusted. And you can see the punches, they have not all come back down. So I'm wondering if it's an other adjustment. Yeah, I found the adjustment, it's that guy over here, which has the big drive arm. And you can see there's a strike point, so you can move it back and forth. And it was too far back and not moving the assembly far enough to adjust it. So I'm trouble to find where this part is. And you adjust how far it goes by moving 
this guy. So the adjustment is you manually move the thing. Until, there you go, you see that fellow coming up on top right here. And then you have to have a certain you know, closeness between th this roller and this guy. And mine was way far back. And to adjust that, you have to go all the way back at the, at, at the machine and push the main shaft. And now I'm good. I have one problem remaining is that I don't always punch the little feed holes here. I have just fallen into a classic beginner's trap, the interdependent adjustments. It turns out the power arm adjustment I just did screws up all the other ones, so I have to redo the punch depth adjustment. So I readjusted the punches which you have to do after you do the bail and now the problem is even stronger I almost never punch it and actually I can set it up manually and see what's wrong I go here I set up any characters we'll see I do this one what just one bit so i should have the bits yeah so we have that bit coming through and which should translate to the bar so that's good at the back of the bit i set and that bit should always come on that's the bit for the drive hole so so far so good that's not a problem there but here i can see a problem FI. So the link, that's pretty hard to show. The link at the back for the punch, number one, number eight, I don't know what it is, work. But this one, which is the middle punch, didn't go down. I have to push it a little bit. And now that I push it a little bit, if I continue through the cycle, it will punch. I couldn't find a good explanation uh, and a good drawing that, that makes it clear how the punch works. So I'm trying to do it with these poor pictures and some words. Uh, there's eight of that, one for each punch, and you imagine the punch is over here. So the whole goal is to make this go down and push the punch at punching time. And like uh, most punchers, the force to punch is high, so there's actually two steps. There's one step that's sensing and one step that's punching. In the sensing step, this bar goes stays or goes up a little bit depending on if the punch must be on or not. And in the punching step, this bar goes down. So for, for example, if the bar would go down now in the punching step, it would not move anything, we'll just slide past that. But when the punch is selected, that would be this picture here, the bar will go up and this thing pushed by the spring will click in. So at punching time, which is later in the cycle, when this goes down the whole bunch, it will bring this whole pole with it and the lever will swivel and it will pu push the punch in and make the hole. And what's happening to me is that it doesn't go up enough, so that clearance is not good on just one punch and it never gets selected and I never get the middle punch. So the height of the pole must be carefully adjusted so that it's in when the sensing lever is up, but it's not caught when the sensing lever is down and that's what's not right on mine. And that adjustment curiously is all the way here is a post that you have to turn and it pushes this slightly up or down, it changes the rest position of the lever. So hieroglyphic says, set up an all one combination, so I'll pick all the bits up. This guy goes into the rearmost position, there it is. And I have to have some clearance 
there, which I don't have. I can't see. It's misadjusted, right? There should be some clearance between this and that, and there's almost nothing. So that's a fairly touchy adjustment. Okay. There we go. Hey, Cal, I have all my holes. All right. Phew. Basically, every single adjustment was wrong. Around. Okay, trying the reader now. Well, for a first try it's promising, but like the rest of this annoyingly finicky machine, the reader will need some work in the next episode. But stay with us, we can smell the finish line now.